Hey everyone, Techni here with a little bit of a different video. As you can see, we kind of got a different setup at the desk here, which I usually don't do. And what we're gonna do here is just a really quick Black Friday rundown as far as some of the deals I'm finding with PC and gaming accessories. Now also, as I'm talking about all these deals right here, now I'm looking for deals throughout the entire year, not just Black Friday or not just the holidays. As you all know, the majority of my stuff I review and pretty much everything in this stack right here, I have paid for myself. I don't have all these companies send me the hot new product instantly you know what I mean we get some but not not much you know what I mean so a lot of stuff I always have to pay for myself so I'm always out on the prowl looking for these good deals and everything and if you want to know some of these good deals I always throw them up on Twitter instantly if I see this fantastic deal I'm not trying to hoard it for myself bam I'm gonna see it Pew throw it up on Twitter right there so you can enjoy it as well, you know what I mean? Even if it's a product pending for review. So again, make sure you follow on Twitter so you can keep up on these deals as I find them throughout the entire year, not just the holidays. Now, I didn't want this to be a video of me going looking at all these ads and all these sales at all these random websites with all the stuff I've never used. So what I'm gonna do here is actually run down some of the deals and everything that I'm gonna be talking about, I have used. So every single product we're talking about here is actually products I recommend and products I really Really like not just these junky products that are marked down for the holidays again I've used them I recommend them and I really like them and I think they're worth the money you'll spend and as far as the products we're gonna be talking about right here we are gonna be shopping through Amazon because honestly who wants to go to, out to a store wait in a line and deal with all these crazies out there you know boxing each other for a headset or a TV or something you know what I mean it's so easy bam slop on a computer do your shopping right there you know and get all your stuff with a simple press of the button but anyways how I'm gonna do this is we're gonna talk pretty much about keyboards, mice, and headsets. And that's really it. I'm not gonna go off talking about these TVs and these console deals and everything, even though the first thing I actually purchased for Black Friday was a brand new LG 65 inch TV, which was fantastic. But I'm not here to talk about that. Again, we'll be talking about headsets, keyboards, and mice, and we'll break it up like that in the description or break it up with the timeline for that as well. But let's go on and kick it off first off with keyboards. And the first board we're gonna talk about here is the Razer Sinosa Chroma. Now I'm not gonna dive too into this and start talking about this too much, because I am gonna review it. I haven't reviewed it yet. I've used it and I've tested it and I really like it. It is a membrane board, but it has individual lighting. It honestly has the exact same build as my uh, permanent board here that I use every day as far as the uh, Razer Black Widow TE right here. I love this board. The TE is mechanical, but again, when you go into that Sinosa Chroma, again, it has the same build. Build. As far as the RGB, it looks the same. It's a great, coming in at 39 bucks right here. I really love that board. Great beginner's board if you're trying to look up, look to upgrade your uh, pre-built PC, like a cyber power keyboard or something like that. Fantastic option here at 39 bucks. Again, we'll have a review coming on that one soon. But again, great board at $39. The next great find we have here is the Corsair K55. Yes, again, another membrane keyboard, but this is one of my favorite membranes. I mean, this thing is so stinking butter smooth. I have done a review on this one, by the way, and it just feels fantastic. Comes with the wrist rest right there. You have media controls up there. Again, it just feels fantastic and sounds great. One of my favorite membrane keyboards right here. And again, coming in at only 39 bucks, you can't go wrong with this board. All right, so now coming up with another membrane keyboard, and that is the HyperX Alloy Core RGB. Again, did a review on this one. Another fantastic me uh, membrane keyboard right here. Very, very solid build. As far as all the membrane keyboards we talked about so far, I'd say this one has the heftiest build, and it just feels incredibly solid. Again, very nice feel and everything. Really crisp RGB on this guy. Again, check the review out on this one. Now, I'm showing you it on the screen right here, and you're seeing it pop up at $49.97, pretty much 50 bucks, right? But if you follow me on Twitter, um, this guy was just recently at $29.99. So again, keep an eye on it and it will drop to that price again right there. So again, at $29.99, you can't go wrong right here. All right, so next up is the Red Dragon K552 10 keyless keyboard right here. I don't know where this one is. I know it's somewhere in my closet, but I just can't find it. It's just too much stuff in there, you know what I mean? Uh, we did review this one as well. I love this board. This board is fantastic, incredibly solid. The one stinker about it, well, number one, the RGB on it or the LED is just red. 
yet. So that might be a turnoff for some of you. But the other thing is it only uses blue switches and the blue switches are loud. Go on and check out the review on that one as well. I love the keyboard, but again, you have to like the blue switches. That's all it comes in. So if you don't like blue switches, just mark this one off your board completely. But if you like that really loud, clicky, tactile sound, this is a complete winner at $27.99 absolute steal. All right, and next up, the keyboard we have here, which I'm really excited about, and again, I'll have a review coming on this one, is the Razer Black Widow Elite. As I stated earlier, my main keyboard right now is the Black Widow TE, the 10 keyless one here, but I've really been interested in trying the other Razer uh, yellow switches, one that kind of looked like Kale Box right there, just to see how they feel. So I picked up the Black Widow Elite, and the price is a little different for this. As you see, the tactile and clicky is 124. When we get into the linear and silent, which is the one I ordered, is 139.99. So again, kind of vary that on your price. Regular MSRP is 170. So again, these prices we're seeing are pretty stinking fantastic. They all might drop down to that 124 right there, which would be great. But again, I wanted linear and silent. So depending on switch is gonna vary as far as your price. Again, I can base it off the board I use right here. I absolutely love. When you get into the Blackwood Elite, you're going full size, but you have all these other features smacked into it, you know, which I'm really, really excited to try out. And again, slapping those uh, Razer keycaps on right there. Look, I'm getting, I'm getting off track. I'm getting excited about the new keyboard. Again, I just recently ordered this one. Again, I can already recommend it because I know this one is stinking awesome, you know, so I know this one's just gonna be even better. But again, at that price right there, I think it's a fantastic deal. Heck, right now that, is cheaper than this one right here, so you can't go wrong. All right, so currently that is gonna wrap up keyboards right there. I know some of you are probably saying, well, man, that was so many membrane keyboards. Trust me, don't hate on a membrane keyboard. I mean, they are fantastic, a complete value. You're getting a really solid product for not much money. So if you got kids or something, or you're trying to gift one to a friend, I mean, you can't go wrong with one of those for like 30, 40 bucks right there, you know what I mean? Unless you're one of those really good friends that's gonna go spend 150 bucks on your friend, hey, not bad, you know? But again, as far as a membrane board, fantastic product. Again, 30 to 40 bucks, you can't go wrong. All right, so now let's go on and dive right into mice. And this is where things get pretty exciting and pretty juicy because these prices are amazing on these mice. And where we're gonna start off first is with the Razer Death Adder Elite. One of my favorite mice still to this date. I mean, this thing is solid, so cozy. One of the coziest mice you will ever use. It is a fantastic mouse and I highly recommend everybody trying this. I know we're all caught up in this lightweight mouse craze right now and everything you know, it's gotta have holes in it. But trust me, this is a mouse you need to get in your hands. And right now, coming in at $29.99, what better time to try it? I'm telling you, at 30 bucks, you cannot go wrong. This is a mouse you need to pick up. And the next great mouse find we have is the Steel Series Rival 310. Still one of my favorite mice. I bring this right back to the Death Adder. If you haven't used this mouse, you need to. You need to get this in your hand. I mean, it is an absolute gem. It really is. Coming in at right now at 31 bucks flat right here. I mean, you just, it's again, a mouse you can't go wrong. Look at this, the Death Adder Elite in a Rival 310, 60 bucks. Both of these mice are probably about cheaper than some of these other mice you will end up buying. That's what I recommend you doing. Buy the Rival 310, buy the Death Adder Elite, and you're gonna be sound as a pound rather than going off buying one of these other expensive mice, you know what I mean? But seriously, the Rival 310 here is an absolute gem, and I love this mouse to this date, and I highly, highly recommend you trying this out. Go on, check out the review on this one while you're at it as well. All right, so coming up next, we have the HyperX Pulsefire Surge. We just got done with two ergonomic shaped mice. Now we're gonna get into that ambidextrous shape right here. And this thing is an absolute gem. Some of the best RGB on a mouse I have ever seen. It's a little bit of a smaller mouse, but again, it fits big hands as well. Like mine, it fits really nice. I can get that palm, get that claw. The only downside I did notice about this mouse is the back hump of it kind of caught into the back of my hand just a little bit. Nothing uncomfortable by any means, but again, it kind of had that egg shape rather than that flat shape on the back right there. So I think if you have medium to small hands, it'd be absolutely perfect. Get bigger hands like me, and I prefer that really soft, cozy, just kind of wrap around palm grip. Again, a little bit pointy in the back, but nothing horrible by any means. One of my favorite mice right here, coming in at only 38 bucks. I mean, what an absolute deal. Regular MSRP at 55, right now 38 that it's showing right here. I wouldn't be shocked if this guy drops down to 29 as well. And when you see this mouse drop at 29, scoop it up right away. It is that good. Again, you will love this mouse. All right, and next up we have the Logitech G502 SE, the special edition right here. Only thing special edition is it has the white accents on it. As you see, it's black with the white right there. Get your RGB going. Now I use this mouse or the old 502 
502 when I first got into PC gaming and it really helped me out as far as with all the buttons and everything. I'm probably going a little further into this because I'll be having a review coming up on this thing within the next week right there. So I'm going to stop myself right here. But again, I highly recommend this mouse. It's really great. Again, I'll have that review probably next week for you guys on this guy. But right now, regular MSRP, it says 80 bucks, which is kind of crazy. It's usually around 50. But anyways, on here it's saying 80. But anyways, right now you can scoop this SE one up for 35 bucks. What an absolute deal right here. And again, I'll have the review on this one hopefully next week for you guys. But again, just spoiler alert, yes, I do recommend it. All right, so last up as far as our mouse finds right here, and this is a mouse I have been using every day. I recently reviewed it. I highly recommended it, and I've had my eyes on it for so long. Regular MSRP coming in at 90 bucks, which is a little bit steep, right? But right now, coming in at $59.99 is the Razer Mamba Elite right here. And let me tell you what, I love this mouse, and I recommend it. As you can see, it's plugged in right now. It's the mouse I'm using. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty, and this is the mouse I've gone to. Again, I kind of compare it to that upgraded Death Adder Elite. Not saying anything bad about the Death Adder Elite, but that's what this feels like is an upgraded Death Adder Elite right here. It fits so fantastic. The curves are a little bit more mellow than the Death Adder Elite, so it kind of fits your hand a little bit better. It is still a big mouse for sure. Really nice, big, pronounced side buttons and everything. Very nice clicks. Low recessed wheel right here. Crispy RGB. Again, not saying anything bad about the Death Adder Elite. I love the Death Adder Elite. I absolutely love it. But again, this is like that upgraded version right there. And uh, the, obviously the price tells you, right? Regular MSRP, 90 bucks. But right now at 59.99, again, I think it's an absolute steal right there. And I recommend that regular MSRP at 60 bucks. I say pick it up right now. I absolutely love and highly recommend this mouse right here. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for our mice right there. Now the one thing a lot of you has probably been waiting for or wanted to hear about is the head set finds and which ones did we find as far as the deal here and let me tell you what we have some good deals and the first headset we have right here is the Corsair HS60 Pro this is the updated version not the old HS60 again the Pro and there's a few differences on it actually I will have the review dropping on this headset hopefully tomorrow or the next day but again right now coming in at $39.99 I don't know why, I just loaded up Amazon right here and it's saying currently unavailable. I was looking at it earlier today and it was showing $39.99, but you can also go to Best Buy, scoop these up for $39.99, but I'm sure Amazon will have them loaded up again at $39.99 as well. Cause again, who wants to go to the store and start bashing with this, you know, crazy crowd out there doing this holiday shopping. So again, keep an eye on this at $39.99. I highly recommend it, spoiler alert right there. And you'll kind of see the differences in the upgrades, which were some pretty nice upgrades that they did with this newer headset. Again, I'll have that review dropping either tomorrow or the next day for this. But again, at $39.99, a great buy. Now the next headset we have is the Turtle Beach Recon 200 right here. One of my favorite budget headsets. I absolutely love it. It has a built-in amp and everything, so it's a fantastic PlayStation headset. And a lot of us know plugging in a headset into a PlayStation 4 controller, the volume drops quite a bit, right? But anyways, this headset, you do have to charge it, which is a little bit of a stinker right there. But anyways, charge it up, power it on right there, and it has that built-in amp in it, and it really just blast your ears away i mean it sounds fantastic plug it into an xbox controller or a pc and it's even better because you have great onboard sound on those two devices but again it's a headset i highly recommend for playstation 4 again because that controller the volume drops so low now the only downside about this headset right here is the clamp and force it's not a, a, a tight clamp and force is more like a medium clamp and force you know it's not loose by any means you definitely do feel it there but it's not uncomfortable it really just gets in there and really grasps around your head and it, it's not uncomfortable by any means again it really complements with that sound it gets in there closes in your ears and really amplifies that sound for you and it's really fantastic now this price recently just went up as the time of me filming this video but it will drop again for black friday and this is for best buy walmart and amazon i believe and don't hold me to this but it's either 29 $9.99 or $34.99. It was actually just on sale yesterday before I made this video, but again, it was either $29.99 or $34.99. If I'm not mistaken, $29. And again, if you can get it at that $30 price range, an absolute fantastic headset. Great headset for your kids for sure right there at that price range. And it's not one of those real cheap, real just junky budget headsets. This is a headset I highly recommend and I really, really love using right here. And at $30, again, a fantastic 
find. All right, and next up for our headsets, and this is one I recommend you jumping on right now if it is still this price, because I haven't seen this in a Black Friday ad or anything. I just saw this one model marked down, and this is the SteelSeries Arctic One, the one we have pulled up right here. You have to make sure it's the PlayStation 4 version which it really doesn't make a difference. You have a PC multi-platform, PlayStation 4, and Xbox version. They got different ear cup designs inside. One's blue, green, and then white right there. The one difference with the PC or a multi-platform version is it's gonna come with a splitter in there. But we all know we have tons of splitters laying around our PC stash from other headsets, you know what I mean? So don't worry about that. It's not worth that extra 10 bucks right there. It's the exact 100% same headset. The only difference is it doesn't come with that splitter. But again, if you're on console, Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, or whatever, the PlayStation version is gonna be the exact same. Don't worry about it saying PlayStation or Xbox or anything. Again, they're all the exact same. They plug in 3.5. And at $39.99, this is an absolutely breathtaking deal right here. Like jump on this, if this is $39.99 while you're watching this video, jump on this right now. That is a fantastic deal right there. And again, just to put it out there so you're sure, yes, even though it says PlayStation 4, it's the exact same. They all plug in 3.5, so they're gonna work the exact same across every device, no matter which model you get. 39 bucks, get these guys. Next up, again, is a headset I have pending for review right here. I did one similar to it, the Elite Pros right there. I did the Xbox version, the white ones, but these are the Elite Atlas Pros right here. And this is kind of where I recommend as far as PC. Again, I'm not gonna dive too far into it because I will have a review coming up on these guys, but these go 3.5. If you got an amp on your desk or anything like that, again, as far as build, going to those Elite Pros right there, same build, same comfort, same sound, fantastic regular msrp 99 uh, 99 so pretty much at 100 bucks but right now they're on sale for 85 and i think this is a fantastic headset for 85 bucks again for pc pretty nice for xbox as well but i got something else for your pc or for your playstation 4 and xbox users here and that is the elite pro 2 with the mix amp the one i did review we have the white version here but it also comes in black for playstation 4 now i didn't use the playstation 4 version i used the xbox version the white one here but if you all remember in the review if you haven't watched it again go check that one out but we tested these on pc the xbox one x and the playstation 4 pro again yes the xbox version and it worked across every single device using the app and the little amp as well so again this headset right here i can tell you the white version the xbox version works on every single platform with the app and the amp right there so i'd say hey just buy the white version again i can't speak as far as the playstation version i don't know how the uh the uh, actual amp is synced up in there and everything but the white version works on every single device right there and i love it a fantastic sound a great build right there takes a little while to get used to the app and everything using the amp with the app at first it's honestly pretty annoying but then it kind of grows on you and you really really do start enjoying it check out that review again at 99 bucks i'd almost want to tell you hey just skip the elite atlas pros and get these for uh, you know another five bucks or ten bucks an extra 10 bucks and get the amp right there just something else to play with you know maybe that's where i'd put you right there again kind of think about your budget save 10 bucks go with that right there put it towards one of those cheap mice or get this guy with 10 bucks extra right here just for 100 bucks you can't go wrong with either and next up for our headset find right here is yes our number one pick out of our best 50 dollar or under 50 dollar gaming headset video we recently did and as the HyperX cloud stingers right here you all know i love this headset fantastic sound stage very comfortable swivel in the ear cups right there fantastic mic great build i think they look pretty cool and again right now they're coming in at 39.99 what an absolute steal right here i put these right there again we have those arctics one and then these hyperx stingers yes i would recommend the stingers over those arctics one but those arctics one are right here right next to it you know i remember when i was doing my video they were a little cost a little bit more the arctics one they weren't 39 bucks at 39 bucks it's like wow where do we go right now you know they're both at 39 again i'd recommend the stingers i love this headset at 40 bucks an absolute win right here and i highly recommend you scooping these up you will enjoy these all right so next headset up right here is the razor kraken the 2019 edition i recently reviewed these and this was a headset that really kind of had me going two different ways i'm like uh, a lot of it's got to be personal preference number one no swivel in the ear cups right fantastic build an absolutely amazing build the sound again the highs were a lot more pronounced than the bass right there not saying it was a bad thing if you're really into that really kind of competitive edge say some rainbow 
6, Fortnite, or like PUBG, and you really want to hear these footsteps around you and everything, that's what this headset's going to do for you. It's not really going to shake and rattle your ears or anything like that. There is bass. There is a really nice bass to it. But again, it's not that real ear shaking, really rumbly bass. Again, the highs are a lot more pronounced within this crack in 2019. The build is absolutely amazing. I love the build. Right now, um, regular MSRP, 80 bucks. But the, the black version and the green version is coming in at $49.99. At 50 bucks, this is a fantastic buy for this headset. The one thing I recommend you just kind of thinking about with this headset, because I've had a lot of people asking me about this one with it being on sale compared to some other ones. The biggest thing I gotta say, if you all know with a lot of my headset preferences, is I like my ear cups to have swivel in them. You know, these do not have swivel in them, just like a lot of HyperX headsets. So think if you've worn the clouds before, the clouds dudes, the alphas, anything like that, with no swivel, this is gonna be perfectly fine for you. Me personally, I need swivel in my ear cups. So that was the only deal breaker for me. But again, that's personal preference. You may absolutely not mind it at all, but all of our head shapes are gonna be a little bit different. And again, at 50 bucks, this is an absolute awesome buy. All right, I had to go refill my water. I don't know if y'all can tell I'm getting really raspy here when I talk too long. My ribs just start getting tight and something, I, I don't know, it's it's an absolute mess. I sound like an 80 year old smoker when I start talking for longer than like 10 minutes. And you all know I love talking, right? But all right, so the last headset we have right here is the Turtle Beach Elite Atlas Aero. If any of you haven't seen a review on this one, please go check this one out. This is a headset that I think a lot of people are just like passing by. PC headset, again, let me kind of start from the beginning right there. This is a headset I recommend for PC. And if you're on PC, out of any of these other headsets I've talked about, get this one. It does cost a little bit more right there, but it is so fantastic. I have probably about like close to an $800 audio setup here as far as sound card, DAC, headphones and everything. But I've been using the heck out of these things and I haven't been wanting to take them off my head. They're just simple to use. The sound is awesome. All the features within it, it's, it's comfortable. It's again, I can compare this to my $800 setup as far as all the adjustments and tweaking of the sound you can do. I can't say the sound stage is like this, this, or this, because you can get in there and adjust so many different options with it. It's incredibly amazing. Just go check out the review and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about right there. But now this headset's recently released as well, pretty new headset, regularly 150, I believe, but right now, 120 bucks. I mean, this is, Probably the best headset you're gonna get out there for that price range. Not even probably. This is the best headset for PC. Catch me right there. You know, that's kind of where the headset downfalls is I gotta say for PC. But anyways, that's what it's for. It's for PC, but again, it is the best headset you will buy for $120. Hands down, it is that good. But again, all those from the keyboards to the mice to the headsets, all of them are fantastic products. Again, I've used them all. It's not these random products I'm seeing for a cheap price and saying, oh, hey, go buy this. I've actually used and test them all. And again, I think they're all fantastic. Now, as we all know, Black Friday is not the only holiday shopping time. I mean, there's deals throughout the year. Um, why I wanted to make this video again, as I stated before, is I buy the majority of my stuff myself with my own money. These companies aren't sending me all this stuff. Actually, everything that I just reviewed there, I think only one thing was sent to me out of that entire stack of stuff. Everything else I paid for, you know what I mean? So again, I kind of want to just share that experience. Like I got to buy this stuff on my own, right? So I got to find these good deals. And that's kind of what I wanted to share with you guys. Hey, let's save some money so we can get some other cool stuff as well, you know? I'm over here buying all this stuff. I want you guys to be able to scoop it up and try it out as well. And this is how I do it. I'm always searching. I wake up in the morning and bam, I'm searching for a deal for that next product to review, you know what I mean? When some of these other big YouTube for taking this stuff sent to them. Hey, maybe one day we can get some uh, big companies to start just sending us stuff, you know what I mean? But again, right now, this is what I gotta do, and I wanted to share that with you guys. But my point is here is Black Friday is not our only shopping time, right? We're shopping throughout the entire year, throughout the rest of the holidays, and again, throughout the entire year, birthdays, Christmases, other holidays are just buying new products, you know what I mean? And that's what I'm always doing. So my point here is make sure you flop over there, follow me on Twitter, because I throw all these deals on Twitter first. That's where they go first. Again, as you can see, I got all this stuff pending for review, but when I find them for good deals, bam, I throw them up there on Twitter first and let you guys know about them too, so you can scoop them up as well. So make sure you follow on Twitter to find some of these good deals as well. But all right, that's gonna wrap up this one right here. I'm getting really sore in the throat, as you can tell. I'm over here getting a little too excited talking about these deals and my side's starting to pinch right here. So I think I 
got a little too into this video here. I highly appreciate you stopping by and watching this one. Sorry I sound horrible right here. Hopefully this clears up soon. And like I said in the beginning, I will have all the affiliate links for every single one of these products right down and below right there. And if you decide to pick one of those up, I'd highly appreciate it if you do use those links because I get a little pinch back to it. And again, it just kind of keeps this cycle of new products going right there. But hey, I hope you all have a great holiday, a happy Thanksgiving. I highly appreciate you stopping by and watching this quick video here. If it was able to help you out or if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.